build the davit arm to take these sheet goods, pick them up one at a time, put them on the table, and then we'll have uh, a way to take them off the table as well. So my davit arm is gonna be mounted right up over here. That's gonna be about the center point, and it'll swing over on the left-hand side of that, that white junction box. So four foot, six inches for my unistrut which is what the uh, the arm is made out of. And then I've got the Unistrut rollers that are gonna be mounted to the top of my, my winch here. And that will uh, uh, trolley the, the winch. So the davit arm will pivot and the winch will trolley. We're gonna have four by 10 material and four by eight material that we're gonna be needing to get onto the table to get our products cut. Build a standoff uh, for the hinge coming off the wall so that there's nothing gonna get pinched or bound up. So I'm gonna beef this up over here. These, I'm gonna put in uh, three more cripples and We'll uh, fasten everything together real good so that I got a solid base to put that 3 8 flat bar on. The plywood facing on those studs I put in there, that's six inches wide. That stock is five inches. And that's about where I'm gonna have the hinges. 24 inches span between the top and the bottom here. Get that all cleaned up. I'll mark out some uh, points to put my leg bolts uh those are four and a half okay holes are drilled now we'll uh clean it up with the grinder where i'm gonna weld and start putting it together beam pieces i got two of those and then we've got some flat stock that's going to go on the side i'll get all that cleaned up and I'll uh, put the beams on there and we'll start welding. I've got a magnetic plate. It comes in pretty handy for cleaning up these uh, small parts like these gussets. Uh, it takes a lot of the uh, clamping hassle out of the picture. We're about ready to strike up an arc on this. Um, this is where my four inch standoffs are gonna be. And the critical measurement here is inch and three sixteenths on each side. So I'm gonna tack it with the uh, little 140 and then we'll stick weld uh, the rest of it out with the Thunderbolt. buttoned up here I've got my uh, sidebars on um, this hinge is welded out this one is tacked in pretty good that is ready for the a-frame cutting the front stop for the davit arm This is the rear attachment sleeve. I'm gonna make one for the top hinge and one for the bottom hinge.
this sleeve is for the center of the arm and I'm going to weld a uh, small pad eye to it to attach to the uh, upper two inch strap. Okay, this is the attachment. This will be, this will attach to the davit support of the wall, this longer one. This is center support, where I'll have a piece of uh, two inch uh, flat bar coming up to my diagonal. And then this will be my attachment for the uh, end of the diagonal. Okay, I got the layout done on this thing, and this is pretty much how it's going to end up. I've uh, attached my blocks to the hinges on both, and they are, they are tacked. I tacked the unistrut to the block, the strap to the block, and I'm, I squared up the unistrut to the 3 8 plate on the bottom. And then I added a, a degree or so, maybe two, just a little bit of a <clears throat> movement up because there's gonna be deflection. Um, but I'm very confident that we're, we're set correctly. I haven't put the trolley in yet because I haven't built the trolley brackets for the winch. That's going to be next. This is going to go uh, in the center here. I get it on. It's going to go on the center um, for a bracket to come up off of this to the to the uh, um, strap. The uh, front end of this thing, this was a piece of scrap that I had that was already cut into a triangle and I liked it. So this will come down 
and that'll attach to the center of the the boom. Then I'm going to have a half inch turnbuckle attached to this front pad eye. So this rod's going to be cut up here. This this end here will attach right to this flat stock. Um, I'll get that cleaned up and adjusted out. That will give me a little bit of adjustability if there's any deflection. Okay, got her all put together. A lot of the welding's done. Uh, we trolley good. So that's good. Looks good. The uh, swing is just beautiful. No problem there. Okay, so I'm going to take this sheet off. This is a sheet of 14 gauge with a couple cutouts. I marked center. Now I, the cutouts over here are going to take some weight off, so I moved center over this way just a little bit. We'll try that. I swing this over. Okay, this is our eighth inch sheet. 
Now this is a 10 footer. Like so. Okay, here we go. I'm going to swing this over. So the 10 foot sheet, you have to overlap it on the end. And then once you get it set down, you got to put it, uh, slide it back. Okay, we're, wanted, we're gonna want to just set it down this way, but you gotta watch your torch. So I'll bring this over, something like so. And coming down. piece of half inch, eight foot weighs 600 pounds. I'm not sure what uh, what this weighs. It's pretty heavy. It'd be it'd be pretty difficult to lift it up and put it on the table without scratching everything up and. Maybe hurting your back, who knows. So just bring this up. And I'll swing it over. And that's that's it. We'll just take and slide this down. Hangs off the end back. How's that look up there? Okay. Yep. So then we just go. Probably go in a little more. You want to go in a little more? Okay. So then we just push the this material against the two inch. Blocks. So now we're indexed. Um, we're indexed to the table, so the machine we know where, where the machine's going to cut. So that's the that's the lift.